Fluid Mechanics Fluid Mechanics is a branch of physics which deals with the behaviors of fluid in rest or motion. Fluid Mechanics holo physics er active bhag jeta fluid er sthiti ba gotishil obosthar bornona dey. Now, what is fluid? Fluid is an element which can easily flow. Fluid holo active podartho jeti sohojei probahito hote pare. Take the shape of the container. Eti je patre rakha hoy sei patre rakha dharon kore. B deform easily by the application of small force. Kudro force proyog kore sohojei bikrito kora jete pare. Now, what are the types of fluid? Fluids are generally two types. First liquid, example water, milk, blood, etc. Tarol podartho, jemon jol, dud, rakto ittadi. Second Gas, example hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, etc. Gas, jemon hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, ittadi. Now, classification of fluid mechanics. A fluid mechanics can be classified as fluid statics and fluid dynamics. Fluid statics is the study of fluid in rest. Fluid, jakhon siti si lobostai thake, takhon tar bornona ke fluid static bole. Fluid dynamics is the study of fluid in motion. Orthat, fluid jakhon goti si lobostai thake, takhon tar bornona ke fluid dynamics bole. Fluid dynamics further classified as fluid kinetics and fluid kinematics. Fluid kinetics is the study of fluid in motion with considering pressure force. Fluid dynamics er je bhage pressure force te consider kora hoy take fluid kinetics bole. In case of fluid the force is called pressure force. Here pressure force is same as force. Orthat fluid er khetre force ke pressure force bola hoy. Fluid kinematics is the study of fluid in motion without considering pressure force. Fluid dynamics er je bhage pressure force ke consider kora hoy na take fluid kinematics bole. Now property of fluids. It is the characteristics of fluids. Ekta fluid er dharmo gulo ke tar property bola hoy. The various properties are density or mass density, specific weight or weight density, specific volume, specific gravity, viscosity. First, density or mass density. The mass per unit volume of the fluid is called density. Therefore, rho equals to mass of the fluid by volume of the fluid. Or that, eko kaayatanir bhar ke density bala hoi. Therefore, mathematically, rho equals to m by v. Now, unit of rho. Its si and mks unit is kg per meter cube. And cgs unit is gram per centimeter cube. Always remind that the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. And the density of air is 1.23 to 1.29 kg per meter cube. Next, specific weight or weight density which is denoted by small w. The weight per unit volume is called specific weight. Or that, ekok ayotoner ozone ke specific weight bole. Therefore, small w equals to weight of the fluid divided by volume of the fluid. This is total weight of the fluid. And it is denoted by capital W, but it is small w for specific weight. Mathematically, small w equals to capital W by capital V. As capital W equals to m into g, where m is the total mass of the fluid, then small w equals to mg by V. As mb by V equals to rho, this equals to rho into g. It's SI unit is Newton per meter cube, MKS unit is KGF per meter cube and CGS unit is Dyne per centimeter cube. Now specific volume, the total volume per unit mass of the fluid is called specific volume. Therefore 
specific volume equals to total volume of the fluid by mass of the fluid and this equals to 1 by volume of the fluid by mass of the fluid. So specific volume equals to 1 by rho. Its SI and MKS unit is meter cube per kg and CGS unit is centimeter cube per gram. Now specific gravity which is denoted by small s. It is the ratio of density of fluid to the density of standard fluid. Therefore s for liquid is density of liquid by density of water equals to rho of liquid by rho of water and small s for gas equals to density of gas by density of air. Now another property is viscosity. Viscosity is defined as property of fluid which offer resistance to the movement of one layer of fluid over another adjacent layer. Same as the engineering mechanics where resistance of movement between two rigid body is called friction. In case of fluid, it is called viscosity between two adjacent layer of fluid. Let consider a container having water on it. Then this is called solid boundary of fluid. If we move toward boundary of fluid, the velocity of the fluid particle gradually decreases due to viscosity. Let's see this picture. This is boundary and this is fluid on it. Consider a layer of fluid at distance y from boundary moving with velocity u and another layer with distance dy apart moving with velocity u plus du. The velocity together with relative velocity causes a shear stress tau and is proportional to the rate of change of velocity with respect to y. Mathematically, tau is proportional to du by dy or tau equals to mu du by dy, where mu is called coefficient of dynamic viscosity and du by dy is called rate of shear strain or rate of shear deformation or velocity gradient. Now go for unit of mu. See this picture. It is the dimension of mu. From this, we can easily say the unit of mu in MKS, it is kgf second per meter square. In SI, it is Newton second per meter square. In CGS, it is dyne second per centimeter square. And it is called poes. And this is the equation by which we can easily say that 1 poes equals to 1 by 10 Newton second per meter square. Now, kinematic viscosity, which is denoted by nu. It is the ratio between the dynamic viscosity and density of fluid. Mathematically, nu equals to mu by rho. Now, go to the unit of kinematic viscosity. This picture representing the dimension of kinematic viscosity. From this, we can easily say its unit in SI and MKS, it is meter square per second. And in CGS, it is centimeter square per second, which is called stroke. And this is the equation which say, one stroke equals to 10 to the power minus 4 meter square per second. Now, Newton law of viscosity. It states that the shear stress on a fluid element layer is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain. Mathematically, tau is proportional to du by dy. The fluid which obey the above relationship are called Newtonian fluid. And the fluid which does not obey the above relationship are called non-Newtonian fluid. Now, variation of viscosity with temperature. The viscosity force in a fluid are due to cohesive force and for gas due to molecular momentum transfer. That means in case of liquid, viscosity depends on cohesive force. But in case of gas, viscosity depends on molecular momentum transfer. In liquid, with the increase of temperature, the cohesive force decreases, causes decreasing viscosity. But in case of gas, with the increase in temperature, the molecular momentum transfer increases and hence viscosity increases.